एस एस सी स्टेनोग्राफर रीशेड्यूल्ड स्किल एग्जाम जो कि कंडक्ट हुई थी ट्वेंटी सिक्स अप्रैल उसकी डिक्टेशन देने जा रही हूँ मैं ग्रेड डी मैटर स्टार्ट मिस्टर चेयरमैन सर आई थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग मी एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू स्पीक ऑन दिस इम्पॉर्टेंट इशू वेन एवर वी डिस्कस द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट वी आर रिमाइंडेड ऑफ द ग्लूम ऑन द फेसिस ऑफ करोड्स ऑफ यूथ्स इन द कंट्री वाइल लुकिंग फॉर एन एम्प्लॉयमेंट समटाइम्स दे डेविएट फ्रॉम द मेन स्ट्रीम ऑफ द नेशन एंड बिकम द पपेट्स इन द हैंड्स ऑफ दोज इन्वॉल्व इन एंटी नेशनल एक्टिविटीज एंड टूडे द बिगेस्ट प्रॉब्लम आवर नेशन इज फेसिंग इज टू ब्रिंग बैक दोज मिसलीड यूथ्स टू द मेन स्ट्रीम ऑफ द नेशन इन ऑर्डर टू यूज देयर कंस्ट्रक्टिव कैपेबिलिटीज इन नेशन बिल्डिंग वी शुड सर्टेनली एक्सेप्ट द इम्पॉर्टेंट फैक्ट दैट एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड द एवर इंक्रीजिंग पॉपुलेशन आर टू रिलेटेड थिंग्स सिंस इंडिपेंडेंस देयर हैव बीन अ नंबर ऑफ अनाउंसमेंट बट नो इफेक्टिव कंट्रोल हैज बीन मेड on the ever increasing population of the country you are aware that in our country population growth rate is about 2% per year the growth in the population is bound to reduce the employment opportunities and when today our country is facing the biggest problem we often compare our country with china today china has controlled its population and has formulated its policies in tune with its plans and circumstance as a result of which it has not only been able to provide employment to a great extent but it has also controlled the population explosion effectively because of this situation we see that in the next 50 years india's population will be four times of the present population while china's will be half of what it is at present i believe that if a country has to lead on the path of development it should first of all control its population the present government is doing a lot in taking the country on the path of economic growth as is evident from the first time high level of foreign exchange reserves of more than 100 billion dollars we have i want to say that there are a lot of employment opportunities in this country the honorable prime minister and his government have provided employment opportunities to people through various schemes even last time when the honorable prime minister gave an assurance of providing employment to 1 crore people he fulfilled his promise by providing employment opportunities to 1 lakh people in various sectors during the last 
थ्री ईयर्स रिस्पेक्टिवली एंड दीज अपॉर्चुनिटीज वेयर जेनरेटेड नॉट मेयरली इन दी सर्विस सेक्टर बट इन दी ऑर्गेनाइज एंड अनऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर्स एज वेल एंड आई थिंक दैट नो गवर्नमेंट कैन जेनरेट एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर वन करोर अनएम्प्लॉयड यूथ एवरी ईयर द गवर्नमेंट कैन प्रोवाइड एम्प्लॉयमेंट एवेन्यूज एंड दीज वेयर प्रोवाइडेड इन द वेरियस सेक्टर्स be it rural development sector or any other sector for a developing country like india where more than 75% population is residing in rural areas no strategy has been formulated for the development of villages for the first time this government under pradhan mantri gramin sadak yojana has decided to link those villages with pakka roads there were schemes for providing agro rural based employment opportunities but raw material could not be transported to urban areas and no one could generate employment opportunities in the villages at present some initiatives have been taken their linking villages with metal roads the unemployed rural youths and workers are getting employment in the villages itself secondly it is the first ever effort to bring these villages into the main stream of development drinking water schemes are being launched in the villages there is an ongoing effort to launch primary health and elementary education schemes in the villages free education has been provided to children up to the age of 14 years instead of creating new jobs employment opportunities are being destroyed by this government during these years instead of providing jobs to 1 crore people each year more than 1 crore jobs have been snatched away rather destroyed by this government i know this government cannot reverse a policy a policy against people against working class is being pursued by this government that is why unless this government is replaced by a secular and democratic government the policy which is being pursued by this government cannot be reversed sir the time has come for the government to think not to give false promises at the time of election they forget after being elected remaining in the government about the promises made by them in their manifesto sir unemployed youths are committing suicide not only farmers but the workers also are committing suicide because they are unemployed about 4 crore educated unemployed youths have registered their names in the employment exchanges in the country with these words i thank the honorable members stop